there's a new tool in Photoshop. Well, it's not exactly new. Photoshop 2021 has got a triangle tool. Basically, it was the tool that was within the polygon tool. But now you've got a separate tool for triangle. You may not even see it because if you've edited your toolbar, you might find that you've got the tool. It might be down here, the edit toolbar. So if you go into edit toolbar and you can see now I've got a triangle tool there, but you might find it right down the bottom, right down the bottom of this list. So you can find it in the obviously extra tools. So if it's in your extra tools, what you need to do is just drag it over then and place it into your standard toolbar. And then you will see the triangle tool, see it over there. It just appears there, done. So now with that tool selected there, what you can do, I'm just gonna remove that now. Just gonna show you example. And I'm just gonna set that to something else. I don't want that, maybe red. So I'm using shape there. So I'm just gonna apply it like that. And it's a very basic tool, just triangle, three sides. Exactly the same sort of thing you could have done in the polygon tool, but it's separate now. However, it's a live tool. So what you can do, or live shape, you can apply loads of properties here. So window and properties, and then you can just change the width. You can change the height. You can also change the position. And also, of course, you can just still move it just as normal, of course. You can change the fill here, change that to blue, change the stroke, change the width, so push that there, also make it like that. And you can change the radius as well. Now also, you can change the radius interactively. So you can actually just go to the radius and you can see that will change there. You'll notice that you can't change, you can only just change that one. So it will change it all, all the way across there. Which you may or may not want, but that's the way it works. There's also a couple other features here. You've got transformations, so you can flip it. And also you can change the angle. So if you want it at a different angle, like that. So there's a, quite a few features you can change and it's all live. You can go back to it and change it at any time. There's also these past finder features. I'm not gonna show that. However, there are settings along the top. Slightly odd because if you go here and change that, I'm just gonna change that to black, that will change. Change that to yellow and change that. Also you can change various other settings here as well. However, if you go to this, and this is the same as the corner, got the corner setting here, you notice you can change it, no effect. Now, I'm not certain why that's the case, maybe that, but however, if I set it to that value, I'm just gonna set it, or maybe I'll set it to zero. So you can see it's set to zero there. So I just create a new design. And what happens, it creates it using this setting. So maybe that's the intention of that. You can still update it here, so you can just change it there, but it still doesn't alter there. Slightly odd, I think, not very intuitive. So that's the triangle tool. There's a few other things, obviously you've got, you've got the standard things, you click there and you can change the mask, you can do the usual feathering, et cetera, and density, change that. And of course you can create a whole variety of different triangles like that, and you can modify them all separately and they're all, again, live. Now, you can also, of course, I'm just gonna remove that, use it and I'm just going to go to the triangle tool. Now it doesn't have to be in this position. I've created it in this position. Obviously, if you go here to the edit toolbar, you can move it down, move it up, so you can just position it there or anywhere, or maybe just under the same standard set of shapes. So triangle tool there. So what you can do, you can go there and instead of using shape, you can of course use path. So path, you can see you just got the standard triangle and it's still interactive so you can still modify that. Now, if, say you go and do something else, I'm just gonna quickly go down here to the direct selection tool, and I'm gonna select that. Now, as soon as you do that, you see it's no longer, it's gonna, operation will turn a live shape into a regular pass. No, I don't wanna do that, so just keep it like that. But you can change it to a standard regular pass. 
just going to move that. And now I'm going to go to the final one. So there's the triangle tool again. Instead of that, I'm going to go with pixels. And you can just apply it like that. And again, you can now, of course, all these features over here, they're still there, but now they're for the document. They're not for the triangle, obviously the triangle. But again, if you go over here, you can change that to say 52 and just apply it like that. Now I've got the opacity set quite low, so I didn't mean to do that. So anyway, you've got that like that. And you can change the color, of course, over there to maybe blue, and then you can apply it again. And of course you can use the usual like, difference, like that. So you can create all kinds of new designs, and you've got the other settings here, and there's a couple other settings here. You can set fixed size, equilateral, so if you want to set that, that sort of thing, and you can also go to fix size. So you can set a size, say maybe 20 by 20. And then when you create it, it will, you can see you've got very, very, very small there. So I'm just gonna, let's go to 200 so you can see it. it does seem a bit ridiculous having it that small. So 200. And of course you've got it rounded still, so you can change that round in there. So it's four, and then you can see your design and drop it there. It's a great way of creating very quick design simply by just clicking on the document. Create triangle, you've got the same thing there. If you click on the document, so just click on there and you will see this panel come up. That's with that tool selected. So you can set all these things from the center as well. Change the corner radius, so you can put it to 47. And again, you will get that rounded effect there. And you've got proportional and from center as well. So I'm just going to go for, that's the one I normally keep it on, unconstrained. So I'm just going to go with that. Because then you can just create it any size you want. And again, it's still different. So I'll just put that up to normal. And you can see there. So that's it, the new triangle tool albeit not particularly new because it's the same thing that was in the polygon, but it is now live and you can modify it, obviously, if you're using the shape option. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, Creative Cloud, or sort of Painter, Finity Photo, and many others. Also, please add some comments. Always appreciate it. It's nice to, what am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? Please let me know. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.